Hello, uh, today is day one of my social approach. Um, I am going to do 100 approaches, so that's both men and women. Um, I'm, kind of, I'm so nervous, I'm really, really nervous because I've never done anything like this before. I mean, I went into town with Tim a couple of weeks ago and approached two people, but other than that, the idea of just going up to random people in the street is absolutely terrifying. Um, but I feel like I've come to a point where this is my only option. I don't, uh, I don't really know what else to do. I've recently quit uh, smoking weed, um, which I've been, I've been battling with for about six years, <sighs> on and off, kind of just repeating the cycle, quitting, um, and then my life's going really well, and my life go like this and then I'd start again my life go like this and then I go like this and then I quit and then oh so yeah that's been really difficult and I feel like over the past six years every time I quit weed um I've kind of had to get rid of the people in my life who smoked weed and I've kind of feel like when you're a stoner you only socialize with people who smoke weed you seek out the other stoners because why would you spend your time with people who don't smoke weed? Because they're not going to have any weed. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so every time I've quit smoking weed, I've had to push those people away. So it's meant over the past six years, I've made friendship groups who smoke weed and then I've quit and then I've pushed them away. Um, and then my life's been fine. And then I've started smoking again. I've made new stoner friends. And I feel like I've just been in that cycle for so long that it's left me in a place where it's quite embarrassing to say, but I don't, I don't really have many friends um, and I feel like that's you know in today's day and age that's the worst thing that could possibly happen to anyone you could have your arms fall off and your legs fall off and just you know be a horrible mess but you know if you got friends you're all right I feel like you know nobody wants to admit that they're lonely but I feel like for me um, yeah I have long periods of time where I'm, I'm quite lonely I mean I've got my sister I've got my mom I've got my boyfriend um, outside of that, I have got, okay, I tell a lie, I have three amazing friends and they're really, they're absolutely gorgeous people, but um, one's an air hostess and one uh, travels, she, she's like a carer, but she travels, um, and the other one's always at work, so I, I just never really get to see them whenever I'm like, oh, let's go out and do something. My friend will be like, oh, sorry, no, I'm in Spain, or I'm, I'm in Milan, or I'm in Tokyo. I'm like, oh, okay. So, yeah, I've got to the point where I don't really have any friends. And because I've been smoking weed for so long, and I feel like shutting myself away, that's the reason that I smoked weed was to hide from everybody else and to push everybody away. That I've just got to the point where I don't, I feel like I don't know how to have you know sustainable friendships i don't know how to connect with people um i don't know how to be my authentic self which you know will lead to an authentic relationship now don't get me wrong i think my social skills are pretty good i'm a singer i'm a fitness instructor so every day i'm around loads of people like in my spinning class or my zumba class i have to come in and be like yeah come on guys woo, let's do this woo, yeah yeah so i feel like to the outside person looking in um, you know, if you were in like one of my fitness classes or if you were in one of my gigs, you would never know um, how I really am around people because I feel like I can put on a face and I can definitely put on that face and make friends, but those friendships are not going to be authentic and they're not going to be long lasting because those people wouldn't know the real me. So. Yeah, I feel like I've put this off for a long time because I've been smoking weed, but since I'm on day 20, woo, day 20, 21 days is the longest I've ever done, so, in in six years, so, day 20 is like, it's a, it's a fucking huge, oh, did I just, it's a flipping, it's a flipping huge milestone for me, um, but yeah, because I don't have the haze of smoke around me, I can see that I don't really have any friends. Um, as well as this, I'm in a polyamorous relationship and my my ultimate long-term goal was to have two long-term partners. I've got an amazing partner who I love so much who's actually going to come out with me today and help me. Um, so yeah, I feel like what I want from this ideally would be to get another committed relationship. So to have, you know, a boyfriend. Um, I, <laughs> I feel greedy saying this, but another 
a second boyfriend. Um, somebody who I can, you know, go out and party with or who can come around or cook dinner for, I can go around to theirs. I feel like the friendships I want are not really about going out because I, I do have, you know, acquaintances who I could go out with but I rarely get invited to people's houses or invite people over so I feel like ideally the best case scenario would be I would have a group of uh, maybe five or six friends who I can invite round. Like it's my birthday in two weeks and my stepdad always cooks dinner for me and he was like, oh, so who's on the guest list? And I could think of about three people who I actually wanted to be there. Um, they're probably busy, so they're probably not gonna come, but I thought, you know, that's really not good. Like I wanted a house party and then I thought, wait, no, you need friends. <laughs> you need friends to have a house party. So yeah, so ideally I'm getting into the kind of kink culture, I've just joined FetLife. Um, so ideally I would have, um, I'm looking for a dominatrix. Um, I wanna learn from her, I wanna, you know, uh, not necessarily be a dominatrix, but I wanna have the skills necessary to do that. So if I decide that's something I wanna do, I'm a bit more prepared for it. Um, I would like a friend, a female friend who's roughly about the same age as me, who's also into fitness, um, into healthy eating, into travel, um, also people who are into personal growth. I think that's been the most difficult thing for me, like um, a lot of my friends just think it's weird that I meditate and uh, don't have the kind of... I think I want friends who are self-aware, that's what I want, and I want friends who have huge goals and who are ambitious and who are driven. Um, yeah, so I want a female friend my age, I want a, a boyfriend of any age, okay, maybe not any age, like, I would say 45 is the cutoff point, and even that, that's getting a little bit old. So I would say anywhere from 45 to 30, sorry if you're under 30. I don't know actually if the right guy came along and he was on and he was like 25 I would think about it but definitely I'm 23 but I would never date a 23 year old guy um just because I think boys mature a lot more slower than girls and 23 year old guys are mentally about 14 so and I feel like even though I'm 23 mentally I'm I'm quite mature so that's what I want. I want a social life. I want to be able to, I want to be able to host a dinner party and have people, firstly, have people that I like to invite and secondly have people who are available, people who are free, uh, people who want to come. So that's, yeah, that's one of the main reasons. Also, one of my goals for this year is I wanted to be like a sexy temptress. I want to have the ability to see that, to see a guy that I'm attracted to and to just go up and talk to him. Now whether I get rejected or whether we get married and run off into the sunset, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter to me. I just want to have the the confidence and the ability to go and do that. And I, and I think that's been one of my big sort of roadblocks. I've kind of felt like um, less people are gonna be open to me because of my race. Um, so I really, love to be proven wrong. I really would love to be proven wrong. I reckon I probably will, um, but I don't know, I don't know. So yeah, flipping wish me luck. I am very nervous, very nervous, but I'll do another video, uh, maybe when I'm out and about or afterwards and just kind of tell you how it went. I'm gonna have to edit the shit out of this video because I've been, oh my God, I'm just swearing away. What the hell? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna leave it there. So yeah, thanks, bye.